When it comes to improving health, the fields of medicine and public health have taken different approaches. Medicine has focused on individuals and is delivered by the healthcare system, with a central relationship being between doctor and patient. Public health has focused on broad populations through the creation of policies and programs that affect people where they live, work, and play. Medicine and public health used to be closely linked, but over the last hundred years, in response to advances in scientific research, medicine began to focus more narrowly on the individual patient. Although this has resulted in great advances in what healthcare can do for individuals, it has caused the fields of medicine and public health to drift apart. Why is this a problem? Well, most of us spend only a fraction of our time in contact with the healthcare system. We might see a doctor only a few hours a year. The great majority of everyday life is spent elsewhere, at work, at home, and in and around our neighborhoods. Shouldn't we be addressing health in these settings as well? The Department of Population Health at NYU Langone Medical Center seeks to bridge the divide between medicine and public health, to reunite the knowledge and expertise of both fields and improve the health of populations. For in truth, health is determined by a host of factors. What we eat, our early childhood education, whether we are physically active, our exposure to cigarette smoke, and whether we experience the strains of poverty and discrimination. All of these contribute to health, in addition to whether we have access to high quality health care. But the resources that produce health are not equally distributed. Geography can be destiny. People's zip codes reveal as much about their health status as their genetic codes. For this reason, we are working on the ground around New York City to address neighborhood factors that influence the health of individuals and communities. Using health information technology, we pinpoint hotspots in the city, neighborhoods where diabetes or hypertension or poverty is higher than normal. With these data, we tailor our community health programs directly to those who stand to benefit the most. In Harlem, we visit barbershops and train barbers to identify black men who are at risk from high blood pressure, linking them to proper medical care. In Queens, our health workers go out to the Bangladeshi community, where diabetes risk is high. We help to better manage the disease or to reduce the chances of developing it in the first place, through education, health coaching, and by promoting physical activity and healthy eating. In Manhattan and Brooklyn, we help young children in low-income neighborhoods improve their academic success, health, and well-being by training their parents and teachers in strategies that encourage healthy child development. And back at NYU, we are bringing social determinants of health into the practice of medicine, helping to link our healthcare system with the communities we serve. Because health touches all areas of our lives, the Department of Population Health brings together a dynamic group of faculty and staff across diverse disciplines. The real world is complex. Our vision is to bridge the divide between medicine and public health, pioneering advances to improve the lives of populations throughout New York City and around the world.